Kept you waiting, huh? Aloha, everybody. It is I, the Great Clement, and I am back from my summer break at last to finally finish the ZX series. This has to be my most requested Let's Play of the past two years. <laughs> I tackled the original Mega Man ZX back in 2014, and then with 2015 and 16, I kept doing my own thing. I kept playing Sonic games, games I wanted to show off. In regards to Mega Man, I wanted to do the, to do to the Legend series, so I kind of held this game back a long time, and people kept asking, When ZX Advent? When ZX Advent? It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally here. I hope you're finally sated. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing on normal mode because expert mode hides all of the collectibles that I want to show off. Things like sub-tanks, life-ups, biometal upgrades. I want to show where all those things are, so I'm going to be playing on normal mode. Back in the first playthrough, I asked you guys to choose who we, who we would be playing in the first game, Vent or Ale. I also said that whoever you chose was also going to be choosing the secondary character for the sequel game. You guys chose Vent, so that means we're playing as the girl character, Ash. Ash and Grey actually have a lot of differences between the two of them, unlike Vent and Ale, as you can see from Attack and Rapid Fire, and I'll be going into that as we go through the game. This game has voice acting, so I don't need to do the cutscenes anymore. So enjoy. Alright you guys, are you ready? You still don't see that Raider airship yet? We're getting jumpy! Calm down! I'll go check on the mission now. The client is the illustrious Coalition Government Legion. Some top world leaders want the help of us, a lowly hunter's guild. Do you know what biometal is? Yeah, I heard that it's some kind of cursed stone that eats human spirits! Ha! That's a good one. I bet Legion has a huge bounty on that. They say that biometal was found in some ruins, found by those illegal hunters who don't belong to the guild. Our mission is to take back the biometal and bring it to Legion headquarters. So now that your appetites have been wet for booty, let's get this show on the road. This time, I'm gonna beat ass to the treasure. By the way, where is she? Uh, ahem. everyone, calm down. That voice, Ash, is that you? Where are you? It was getting kind of hot in there, so I went outside to cool off. We've almost got up to the Raider airship with the booty on it. I'm going to go ahead and meet our booty face to face. Hey Ash, that's no fair. You always take all the action. When are you going to get me a chance? Hey, are you listening? You always walk through your own. Okay, let's put everything we've got into it! <laughs> this is Ash. I've successfully talked to the airship. Time to find out where the booty is. Oh, man! Doesn't she know by now that the booty is always in the lead airship? We always go in from the back and end up messing it all up. You guys, be careful! Okay, here we go! It's on! Alrighty, folks, let's go get that booty. So this is Ash. She's in her human form right now because, as you can guess from being a sequel to ZX-1, we're probably going to be finding some biometals and upgrades later that'll make us more of a superhero. Right now, all she can do is run, jump, crawl around, and she can fire a pistol, which is something that Vent and Ale couldn't do in their human forms in the first game. Uh, this is Ash. Do you see any Mavericks on the radar? It looks like there's a Mechanoloid ship among them. They could be after the Biometal. Yeah, could be. 
Looks like the competition is high this time. Everyone, be careful! So we actually have a means of defending ourselves, even though we don't have a bio metal, but it doesn't have a charge shot. We're not allowed to wall jump. Like, we can jump, but we can't cling to walls. We can't slide down them and keep jumping up a wall as a human. We also can't dash. Uh, we can dodge projectiles by ducking, which biometal forms can't do. And I don't know how often that comes into play when you can just dash under things as a biometal, but regardless. This is the intro stage, so there's really not much of a threat here. You just have to worry about the purple guys and... You just have to worry about shooting things before they shoot you. <laughs> and we're already at the boss, so pretty short. It's the intro stage. We have a giant robot. That means it's going to be really easy to beat. <laughs> This boss is weak in the eyeballs. You want to keep shooting the eyeballs with your yellow pellets, but it has three different attacks. Its platform in the middle can shoot flames, so if you're standing on a hand when it's low enough, the fire can burn you. It has lasers that both of its eyes shoot that go outwards and then go close to the middle, but they don't go directly to the middle. But as soon as the lasers stop, you need to dodge them because... You need to get off the platform, rather, because some bombs are going to fall down. And it can also shoot its other arm to go slam onto the arm you're standing on, so you'll need to see that coming, dodge out of the way. And again, it's really simple. This is the intro boss, you really shouldn't have too much trouble fighting this guy. Just keep shooting the eyes, eventually it will die. And obviously, make sure you don't fall into the bottomless pit below. Like, make sure you actually land on the hands, and don't just walk off to your death. You'll be fine. I've landed! Okay, I guess the booty is inside. It seems the biometal has attracted a bug. Shoo, pest. Hey, what did you just call me? You've got some nerve talking to me like that. You don't look like a hunter. Are you after the biometal? Don't group me together with those money-hungry hunters. You're not worthy of the biometal. Why don't you just go away? Sorry, we can't do that. We finally made it. Let us join the party. Who the heck is this guy? A hunter? A maverick? Everybody be careful. He's not just anybody. <sighs> How irritating. Okay, prepare to draw your last breaths. I am Prometheus, and I control the power of this biometal. The power of Mega Man! What is this place? Hey, you're awake! These hunters, they helped you. They found you unconscious outside. Luckily, you were near hunter's camp. Oh, uh, what happened to our booty? The biometal! They managed to recover the whole container and bring it here. I told them everything that happened with the airship and all that. They're planning to take it by train to Legion headquarters. What? Are they planning to collect on our bounty? Is that what you're worried about? You should consider yourself lucky just to be alive. If you had that biometal, that Prometheus guy might come looking for you. Sorry, but I don't care if the client is Legion. It ain't worth it. Oh, you're pathetic. I'll follow the train by myself if I have to. On top of being called a bug, there's no way I'm going to give up that bounty. Oh, brother, there's just no changing you. If you want to go that bad, I won't try to stop you. Before you go, why don't you save your data just in case? There's a trans server next door. Follow me. Alrighty. Good thing Prometheus didn't murder us. <laughs> 
So yes, uh, trans servers are back because ZX Advent follows the formula of ZX1 by having a kind of overworld, hub world kind of thing going on. Although it's not nearly as tiresome, repetitive, backtracky, or as confusing as it was in the first game. Like, the first game was the kind of game where they wanted you to go to Area L, but it's in the middle of Area H, which is an amusement park, so you gotta go through the amusement park again in order to get through Area L, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, ZX Advent actually has a lot better of a map where they have entire sections that you warp to and then you have to leave that place by warping out and stuff. And it's not a giant sprawling hub world that you're ever going to get lost and there's plenty of trans servers everywhere and they actually have a good map on the bottom screen of the DS that shows you where you should be going at all times. So you're never lost this time around. You're never wondering uh, where am I going? What area should be going to what thing? They actually give you reminders in the menus themselves where you should be going and what you should be doing and stuff. Uh, so that's always helpful. They also have all these warp points that uh, this character Nana is going to be talking about. Or Nana. 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 Tomato, tomato. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> But, um, basically, you have to feed 100 energy crystals into a warp point in order to activate it. And then you can warp to that warp point whenever you want from a trans server. Uh, but you can't warp from a warp point, you know? Like, just because you activate it, that doesn't mean you can warp from that particular spot to a trans server. It's a destination only. It's not a teleporter, you know? Uh, so every now and then you'll come across a warp point. You can feed it 100 energy crystals to activate it. Or you can just walk by and save your energy crystals because you might need it for a side quest later. You know. Uh, but there's plenty of trans servers and there's plenty of warp points all over the place. So the overworld system is a lot better uh, than it was in the first game. I find backtracking not an issue in this one. You hardly backtrack. There's lots of places or you just warp to where you need to go, or you just end up where you need to go instantly, so you don't need to worry about all that stuff. We are in Hunter's Camp. This is the big hub area where all of our fellow hunters are. And it's basically the equivalent of the Guardian HQ from the first ZX game. It's the big hub world we're going to be coming back to over and over again that we're going to be spending most of our time in. Uh, and I wanted to explore it, but I will be exploring it in Part 2, not Part 1. Why?! We haven't gotten our first bio medal yet. I want to show off some more action. I don't want this to be right into the conversations right away, you know. So let's go find our booty. Let's go find the bio medal. Let's go hop on the train and get into the action. Not everything is voice acted, as you can clearly see. Uh, sometimes there are silence. Sometimes they voice the cutscenes. It just sort of depends on the situation, I guess. And if you're in Europe, they don't talk at all. Apparently only the North American and Japanese versions have voice acting. I don't know why that is. So, you're Ash. I heard about you, and how you came to help us. This guy knows a lot about me. Well, I guess that makes it easy. Now we don't have to beat around the bush. <laughs> it's nice to have a girl around. We're all set to go. All aboard! You're something else to want to carry on with this mission, by yourself. Why do you want to be a hunter so bad? I was found by hunters as a little girl, and they raised me. They said that my town was attacked by mavericks, and that I was the only survivor of that attack. So, nobody really knows who the real me is. I don't even know. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have asked that. It's okay. So, I decided to become the greatest hunter in the world. I want my story to go down in the history books. People will remember the name Ash. So, I can't just let booty like Biometal pass me by. She's just like me. She doesn't know where she comes from either. Oh, I heard something. Was that someone's voice? Huh? You can hear me? Who said that just now? Dang! Mavericks! They're going to-
Time for the engine. You wait here. Prometheus. I had a feeling you'd show up. This is it. The biometal Model A container. You again. You just don't give up, do you? Who's that girl? Never mind her, Pandora. She's nothing. Let's take back the biometal. I can't let you do that. If you want it, you'll have to yank it from my cold hunter hands. Just lay there and die quietly, scum. No way! Not like this! Hey, girl, if you don't want to die, do exactly what I tell you. We should be able to Mega Merge. I'll lend you my strength. Who are you? I'm Biometal Model A. Now I want you to focus. Okay, yell, Mega Merge, as loud as you can. somehow manage to survive until the end. Then you'll know who you really are, and perhaps all there is to know about the world. So let the game begin, his game of destiny. Who I really am? Game of destiny? What's all that about? Oh shoot, I have to help the others. Wait a minute, shouldn't we be getting out of here? You were acting all big and bad back there, and now you want to run? Come on! I have to go help them! Okay, okay, I'll go! Anything is better than what those guys were going to do to me! I'll help you! If you promise not to leave me! Deal? Of course! You're my booty! And you'll be going with me! And what a booty it is! <laughs> This is the main form we're going to be using for the entire game. This is Biometal Model A, ladies and gentlemen. And it doesn't have a Z-Saber or any kind of melee weapon, so you'll have to get used to that. We can dash, we can wall jump, we can charge a shot, and now we have the secondary ability where we shoot the scanning range, and whatever gets in the way of the scanning range gets locked onto, and when you let go of the button, we shoot electricity and everything. And it can lock onto a lot of things at once. I think, it can lock, I think it can lock up to like 10 things at once if they're all bunched up in the same area. So you have a good lock-on ability. But it wastes biometal energy, which is the green bar next to your health bar, so you gotta watch out for that. And as you can see, our charge shot acts a little bit differently from how it usually does, because this is a bouncing laser type charge shot. And this is completely different from the other character, Grey. So, uh, take advantage of it. It can be pretty useful. Model A, you broke rule. You make big mistake. The one you choose. No good. Mega Man, chosen one! A girl? No good, you lend power! Mistake! What are you yapping about? You don't know me! I think this guy is some kind of maverick. Me, not maverick. 
Me Sudoroid. Me Buckfire. You get away from Prometheus and Pandora, but not from I. Buckfire, obey rule. Buckfire will pummel you into ground. So yeah, we're actually taking on one of the eight pseudoroids of the game right up front, ladies and gentlemen. This is Buckfire, and because we're taking him so early in the game, he's really easy to defeat. He shoots three projectiles, they go down, upwards, and straight ahead, and you don't want to hug the wall because the fire lingers on the wall and it can burn you, so stay a little bit distant from the wall when you dodge these things. Occasionally he'll jump up into the sky and either he'll dash downwards or he'll just land. So sometimes you can land underneath him or you can just dash under just before he tries to hit you, you know? He also has some blades that he shoots upwards and then they come back to him. You! Traitor! Our future! Our world! Yeah! But because he's one of the early bosses, he goes down pretty damn quickly. Not much of a pseudoroid, if I do say so myself. Well, what just happened? <laughs> you want to see something cool? Touch the icon on the bottom screen. New to this game, we can actually switch forms with the bottom screen. We couldn't do that in the original ZX, now we can. Atrans! This is my power, Atrans! I can morph into anyone whose DNA I copy! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the cool gimmick about ZX Advent. Not only are we going to be getting more biometals as we go through the game, we can also copy the data of all eight of the pseudoroid bosses that we will be facing off with throughout the game. We can be Buckfire whenever we want, and we can do every single move that he tried to do to us as well. We have the fire projectiles. That's just, you push the button, boom, he shoots fire projectiles. He can send those blades that go upwards and then back to him if you just charge up. He can jump directly up into the sky, and if you're in the sky, he can dash downwards to break whatever's below him. He is awesome, and it's great that we can actually be the pseudoroids in this game. Man, that was something else! Could that be the reason why people are after you? The power? Beats me. I'm not even sure why it was created. Train is all out of chug, so let's head back to the camp and figure out another way to get to Legion Headquarters. Yeah, now you're getting the right idea. Well, it's that or you'll leave me here, right? I know there's a lot we don't understand. Maybe it's meant to be that way. Anyway, let's try to watch each other's back. You bet. Now let's get those people taken care of. What? Forget about those hunters and let's get back to camp. I can't believe you'd say something like that. I wonder if you'd go down in history if I carved my name in you. Okay, okay, all right already. For crying out loud, why did you have to be the only one around I could mega merge with? That is one fantastic piece of booty. So folks, that's only part one. We've only scratched the surface of Mega Man ZX Advent. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for this one. I hope I don't disappoint. Uh, come back for part two.